New studies revealing alcohol can cause cancer in even moderate drinkers. After years of hearing about the health benefits of an occasional drink, especially red wine, these studies are sending shockwaves through the alcohol industry and, of course, your local bar. Fearing the booze business could take the same financial hit the tobacco industry did when smoking was found to cause lung cancer and heart disease, among other things. So, is drinking the new smoking? Here to break it down for us, Dr. Tiffany Sizemore, board-certified cardiologist, and Dr. Marty McCary, cancer surgeon at Johns Hopkins University. Show of hands, either of you think that smoking and drinking are equally damaging to your health? Oh, Only I hope with not. Binge drinking. <laughs> Only binge drinking. All right, I am really glad we cleared that up. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, Dr. McCary, first, first to you, what, 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 what's really going on here? How do you have all these studies that say drink red wine because it lowers your blood pressure and has all of these antioxidants that are good for you, and now we hear it causes cancer? Yeah, you hear everything. You know, it's good for you, now it's bad and good again. Well, it turns out that no one has ever suggested that binge drinking is good. It's, it's terrible for your heart, liver, pancreas, and everything. But moderate alcohol use, moderate use is controversial. We in medicine tend to study the impact on the heart separate from the liver and everything else. And it turns out there's, there's mixed views out there. And some, latest, some of the latest research has suggested it may not be good for general cancer types. We've known it causes head and neck cancers. We've known it's maybe contributed to colon cancer, but no one's understood its general impact on broader cancer. It turns out there are insulin receptors on cancer cells. We're just starting to understand that. The industry is trying to get ahead of this. They're worried about a PR nightmare. Well, well cur 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 certainly the headline is a nightmare for any industry if you, if you think your product causes cancer. Dr. Sussman, is, is there a point, though, that we sort of all have to say, okay, it, we could all eat vegetables all day and have no fun of any kind and then live to be 140 but might be miserable doing it? Sort of th th this idea that there's a balance between whether or not you're going to have a drink or a Coca-Cola or a Snickers bar, uh, you, any of them have know, consequences. You, you hit the nail on the head. It's all about moderation, right? I mean, this is like telling a diabetic patient that they're never allowed to have a piece of cake, right? So th there has to be some, some moderation. I mean, me as a cardiologist, if I try and tell one of my cardiology patients that's, you know, a mom of three kids that comes home after working all day to a dirty house that she can't have a glass of wine, I can kiss my private practice goodbye. Right. I mean, there's definitely some some element to moderation in this. And and we do know stati statistically and through research that moderate amounts of alcohol that which is one glass of wine or one alcoholic beverage for a woman or one to two for a man. We do know that that decreases heart disease and we do know that heart disease is the number one killer of men and women in the United States, not worldwide, but in the United States. So if we're talking about decreasing death and decreasing mortality, I'm all for a glass of wine a day. Uh, I don't think you'll get any argument for anybody on the uh, all for a glass of wine a day. I always just say it just depends on the, si <laughs> the size of the glass. So thank you, guys. All uh, right. Well, it, that's the poor in a restaurant, not the poor at your house. Okay. All right. There we go. We, 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 you know, these are distinctions we'll leave out. All right, Docs. Thanks, guys. <laughs>